Hello again, I'm going to talk to you now about habit. Habit is a word that's used a great deal in connection with smoking, indeed in connection with all drug taking. People talk about a heroin habit or the habit of smoking and I'm going to explain to you why that's all wrong. Yeah, I'm afraid I really am going to explain why it's all wrong. Why the reason you can't stop smoking is not because of the habit. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that you are not in the habit of smoking. You are. There are certain times of the day when you habitually smoke. We're coming to that. But habit is not and cannot be a, the problem, the reason why you can't stop. It's why in the programs we run at the Institute, um, we don't actually go into habit because the things that we do stop people smoking and the habit just turns out not to have been an issue at all. So first, let's define what we mean by habit. According to my dictionary, it's something, it's an action, it's something you do automatically without having to think about it. So you know how that applies to cigarettes. You smoke habitually at certain times. You get in the car. You get out of the car. You finish a meal. You finish a job. You have a cup of coffee, you have, you're pouring a drink, you're talking to someone on the phone. These are all times where habitually you're going to smoke. And therefore, you come to believe that that's the problem. Well, I need to smoke at those times. And I'm going to show you why that's not true. People get on the phone to us all the time and, and some, you know, we ask them, why can't you stop? It's a question we always ask. And, most people can't answer. Um, but a lot of them will say, well, it's with me, it's just a habit. And we say, okay, well, we're going to resolve that for you right now on the phone. You don't need to do any program, take anything, or anything. We're just going to tell you how to deal with that. And they think we're joking, and we're not. And I'm going to put this to you as an idea now. If you actually believe that habit is the reason you can't stop smoking, I'm going to tell you now how to resolve it very, very easily. Okay. We've defined what it means. You smoke cigarettes because they're there. So they're there, they're easy to smoke. So here's the answer. Don't buy any cigarettes. No, don't switch off. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what on earth is this bloke talking about? If it were that easy, I would do it. But I'd have to go and buy some. And actually, I'm going to agree with you. You're absolutely right. Of course you'd have to go and buy some. And by doing that, in fact, I've um, won the argument. I've proved my point. If you have to go and buy cigarettes, then it's not habit. Nobody's in the habit of getting in the car at 11 o'clock on a November night and driving to a petrol station to buy cigarettes. That's got nothing to do with habit. That has everything to do with needing cigarettes. And we have a word, an interesting word, for needing a drug. Addiction. It is addiction that makes you buy cigarettes. Because you're addicted to nicotine, you buy cigarettes. Because you've bought cigarettes, you've got cigarettes. Because you've got cigarettes, you smoke cigarettes. Habitually. But it was not the habit that made you buy them. So if you're worrying about the habit, you're actually trying to solve the wrong problem. And I hope I've proved that point to you. I just want to go on to uh, another issue that's connected which is with habit, which is nicotine replacement products. NRPs, as we call them uh, for short, um, have a very specific function which is to give you nicotine. Of course, that's what they are. They're nicotine products. So their job is to maintain the addiction for you, to keep you addicted to nicotine, to, while you break the habit of smoking cigarettes. That's all they can do. They help you to break the habit of cigarettes. And if habit were the problem, they'd be great. If you've ever used a nicotine replacement product and you didn't need to smoke, while you were on it, but when you came off it, you needed to smoke again. That's demonstrated perfectly that it's not a habit issue, it's an addiction issue. You get nicotine, 
you don't need to smoke, suddenly the habit of smoking isn't important because you're getting the drug. You come off the drug, you do need to smoke. So it can't be the habit that made you do that. So habit's the wrong word in connection with all drugs. It has nothing to do with why people take drugs. It has nothing to do with why you can't stop smoking. I hope I've proved my point. We'll go on to the next one shortly.